Welcome back to another edition of Winterland in Fuzzfacer 51's world. Let me know if the audio is better in this one. I made a few changes. I have increased the gain, and so you'll probably be able to tell that I'm a little bit louder. And so if it's too loud, of course, you can comment. But I don't have any subscribers, so we'll... We'll have to make do, and I'll have to kind of debug it myself, but eventually I'll have another person, a human, a fellow human, watch my video and tell me what they think about the volume. And so, here we are in Winterland, and today we discussed in the previous session, you could say, that I wanted to make a cobblestone generator, and I need to. For the server, uh, whether whether this is a a good YouTube channel or not, I need a cobblestone generator. But I did not think that through completely because what I'm gonna need for that is a lot of redstone. I'm gonna need some sticky pistons, some pistons, and things that I just don't have. And so there's another there's other things that we need to work on as well. We need to we need to create a creeper farm. We need to create a library so that I can enchant something good if I ever find any diamonds and have an edge against our other mobs, our other extreme mods, something like a wither, something like a warden. We'll have to have some good gear if we're going to want to take those on. And so I think it might be best to make a library, yes, and... Where that library will be, I think that the optimal place is going to be right here. There'll be a door, a simple door, kind of a walkway, and it will lead into an open space with lots of books, many books, and I'll have to create a paper farm for the books. The books will spew the letters out to an enchantment table that will be ideal for my enchanting. And after all that, we're going to have to create a little place for our villagers, or illagers. And, well, we're not going to capture any illagers, but we might kill some. We're going to need a place to hold our villagers so that we can keep them and get the valuable trades that we need for good enchantments. And so... That is what I'm going to start on for now. And here we go. I'm just going to mine out this little area here. Maybe a good room. And we'll get a lot of stone in the process. And that will help because we need to make more stone brick if we're going to make the place an interior rather than an exterior. Because right now it looks like the inside of a cave. And fast forwarding. Boom. Here is a little bit of an excavated place. I can, I can work with this. This is starting to look good. But to get started with enchanting, we're going to need the enchantment table, of course. And I already looked how to make it. And... I can show you right here. I need two diamonds. I need two diamonds and four obsidian. The obsidian shouldn't be hard to get, but then the book as well. I'll need some paper and paper with leather. The leather is another thing. We're going to have to find some cows. And it should be easy to just go out into a field and find some cows, but it's going to take an adventure. And so we might need a map if we're going to need paper anyways. Let's make some paper because, hey, we all need paper in our lives, and who can live without it? I know for a fact that when we get our villagers, we can use this paper to become very rich, very wealthy. If we get the right, the right buyer, there are different villagers with different trades, and we can assign a new skill to them so many times and until we get them the trade that allows us to sell the paper and so in our farm we've got a lot of wheat and it looks good but 
there's got to be a place for our paper. And so I think that this is going to be the perfect little area. Maybe up to, up to this crafting table and this chest, we can just have this whole area, nothing but paper. But the thing about paper is that it has to be adjacent to a block of water. And so there has to be... There has to be a water block that gives life to this piece of paper. Well, it's not paper yet. It is sugarcane. We'll need a sugarcane farm, and I keep saying paper, but in essence, we need our sugarcane so that we can make the paper. And I can't plant. I can't plant here because the soil is tilled up. Maybe I can another dirt block there, and then plant my. Plant my sugar cane. And we'll have that on all four sides. But then, and this is how it will look, but since there has to be a water block adjacent to the sugar cane, this is how it has to be set up, and there is no other way. But if we're going to place a sugar cane right here, a sugar cane right here, then there will have to be a water block right here. And so let's dig this up. Plant the water. Oh, but we've got to fill it up with water. With a bucket, of course. And here we'll go the water. Sugar cane. Boom, boom, boom. One, two. And as soon as one grows, we'll put another right here. And... Before you know it, we'll have a vast, vast farm of sugarcane growing and producing enough paper to make us very, very rich. We'll put this water block here, and I think this will allow us to repeat the pattern. And what I mean by that is that we have optimally placed all the blocks so that there is just the right amount of water for just the right amount of sugarcane and you can easily understand that because with one block of water you can only get four at the most and every water block has four i will repeat this pattern and in this way i will put water here i will put water here and i'll have to plug those holes because that's the inside of the cave. And eventually that'll be filled in too. We'll fill that place in. I gotta bring the water closer. It's a little area for the cane. The big cane, you know what I'm talking about. There we go. Uh, one water there, more water. Cane is priceless. And it's very easy in Minecraft to get lots of gems if you've got the cane. Yes, yes. Put it there. And let's just throw it out a little. Oh, not there. I have to go here. The water. And then here as well. And then we'll get a total of nine water holes. One. And the last one. Who's there? <clears throat> Alright, that'll be good. That'll be good. So now we play the waiting game. Because... We can't make it grow instantly, unless we have some... It was back in the day, many times. 
a long time ago, you could make this grill with some bone meal. Can you now? You cannot. And ideally, you could put a machine that dispensed the bone meal. It would grow, and then a sensor block would pop it off into a little bin for you. And you just load this machine up with the bone meal. But it doesn't work like that anymore. And oh, what's this? No. Nope. But it does with wheat, and I think they caught on to that because sugarcane is such a valuable resource. But now we, uh, we sort of keep that creeper from blowing up our farm. Very, very cleverly did Minecraft code their source code so that, so that right as you complete a good project, the, the enemies will show up to destroy it and you keep playing the game. Ah, you got me. You got me. What can I say? Let's fill this in. Alright, and I uh, will... That looks good. That's fine. We'll be back when this sugar cane grows. Alright, call me crazy, but I went out into the dead of the night, and instead, while our, while our sugar cane's growing, instead of waiting, I found a cow. And this is what we need, because the cow gives us the hide to make our books. And we're going to need those books. Those books are a sort of magic that will fly into the enchantment table and allow us to create, to create those great, great enchantments like Frostwalker and Unbreaking, Silk Touch, and so on and so forth, and the list goes on. I like this, I like this beef. There's an old saying, where's the beef? And the beef is right here, because I will need to keep this beef. This beef is good. I'm gonna creep I wanna keep my crafting tables. And as I play, I will look for the other cow. There's all kinds of monsters, and we gotta be careful because there's the cow. Because those monsters, those mobs, are gonna come after us. Come after us for our our loot. But we got the leather, at least one. A little more beef. More beef. Never hurts. And I'll harvest these flowers. These flowers aren't half bad. Gotta get take care of this zombie. <laughs> because he's just gonna keep following. Go on. Go back to the afterlife where you will come back as a zombie. Let's get rid of the carrots and pick up those flowers over the cupboard myself. Well, the base is pretty close. I just need one more leather. I can make one book. And I simply need one book to make the enchantment table. Oh, and look at here. What do we have here? What do we found? Quite a cave here. I can see some lava. Always looks like a big cave when there's some lava. Maybe there's diamonds close, and it's a whole ravine, I'm sure, that goes underground here. Let's get up on over the ravine. Still looking for the cows. And here, the cow. Why are the cows? Four cows. What are the chances that I don't get leather? I've got to get leather from this. Got a little herd here. Hello, I'm sorry. I have to take her. Your hide. We got wolves. We got wolves attack. Do not mess with those wolves. They might attack. Maybe I can. Maybe I can get a dog. Puppy. You as well. Alright, I've got five, and that's good. Five of them. Can I create, I think, maybe two books? Maybe three? If I fed one of these dogs, would they come with me? Oh, more cows. Here we go. Mm. 
No dog today. No dog. And look at this waterfall. Wow. The terrain generation is great sometimes, but then sometimes it doesn't look that great. Sometimes it's more like a <clears throat> explosion of TNT, maybe, you could say. All right, going back to the base. Here we are. Found our way back, and we are needing diamond. The next thing we need will be some diamonds, because our wheat... No, no, not our wheat. Our sugar cane most likely grown, but it didn't. It didn't grow a single, single stalk. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Harvesting our leather. Putting away half our steak. I put back the rabbit hide as well. A little bit of torches. We're going to have to find some diamond. And that's what I think our next adventure is going to be. I'm going to go down into the deep. And where we are most likely to find diamonds, I am thinking is negative 58. And I will search for our good little two diamonds so that we can make the enchantment table. Only after I equip myself because I will need this iron pickaxe. Only because I can only mine certain blocks with it. And here I go. Look, it's growing already. Growing already. Redstone? Yes, I found the redstone. Um, gold? More gold. <laughs> and redstone again. Aha, and here. Here is the diamond, finally, that we need, and a good thing there's two, because I'm getting tired of mining, but... <coughs> now, I've finished cooking my oatmeal, <coughs> I've eaten my oatmeal, and I've found my diamonds. It's shaping up to be a pretty good day. Let's make some room, because I'm gonna want to keep this, this diamond. I'll get rid of some... Gravel, some cobble deep slate, and flint. It just keeps coming. Let's throw it. Boom, shakalaka. Boom, picked up the diamond. That's all I need. All right, we've got four diamonds here so far, it looks like. Five, five. It's looking good. Hopefully, I get a bonus drop. Nope, not, nope. I think you'll need a... A lucky pickaxe for that. I'll pick up that iron that I mined. Just a moment to go. After I get rid of some bone meal. And let's go back up to the base. And we will make a an enchantment table. It looks like our sugar cane is growing strong. Long, strong sugar cane growing farm. Got a few things here, some redstone, some raw gold, and a little bit of iron. 
And of course, of course, our diamonds. Our diamonds. And now we have all the necessary materials. We've got our sugar cane. We've got our sugar cane. It's growing. And we make something special. Something something that is quite unlike anything else a book simply a book and i'm going to take this paper three paper i've got nine i think that's enough to make one book at least i've got to get my leather and here is something that i've saved We'll put some leathers together. We'll put some papers in between the leathers. Maybe something like that. No, like this. Yes, that's it. Just one leather will be good, and that is perfect, because then I can make two books. Three. There we go. We got three books here. All right, and now I can make the enchanting table with a book do we have the obsidian we don't have the obsidian but it's quickly a mine away if it's daytime we'll be lucky it's storming One, two, three, four, four obsidian. Back to our little home. Snowy day. It's a good day for some hot cocoa. What do you think? What do you think? And I've got all my materials. Let's see. We'll make an enchanting table. And voila! Boom, shakalaka. We've got our table. If I place this down, can I pick it back up? The only way to find out is to go ahead and place it down. And I'm going to place it... What's the best place? What's the best place? I think I'm going to put it right here. And here we have a floating book that opens as I approach. It is magic. Yes, it is. Because I can put in my diamond pickaxe. And if I had the levels, if I had the lapis lazulis... I could get Unbreaking 1. I could get Efficiency 1. I could get Efficiency 1. Hmm, what's going on there? And the truth is that when you get the second level with the same thing, I think that it will give you a bonus. And so that's why it costs a little bit more. It might be worth it to go this route. But, in any case, we've got our enchanting table, and that's what we were wanting. We can now build our room around this enchanting table and it may look great and if it doesn't we'll keep working at it all right all right a little bit more digging and we've got it looking really good i like this symmetry i like the three spaces on each side we'll probably fill this in of course we will because we're not outside we're in our base and then Make this wall probably a a stone brick or maybe some wood. Something something special, something good. And then we'll have to put it in our bookcases. And how we find those, we can do a couple of things. We can go to a nether portal. Oh, excuse me. We can go to a end base. We can go to an end base, and those are usually packed with all of the bookcases that you could ever want or we can simply harvest our sugarcane from our sugarcane farm and kill a bunch of cows start a cow farm cow farm and that might be a good idea too but i think for today that is enough and like always don't forget to subscribe comment click the notification bell icon and Maybe in the next episode we'll build a cow farm. Maybe we'll build a cobblestone generator because we have the redstone we need to build that, to build our redstone circuits. We're 
getting a little bit more of a footing. We've got our diamonds and a good mine shaft. I've got a few diamonds left over, and who knows what we'll put that to. Maybe a good hoe. Maybe a good shovel. Who knows? But remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.